So I already made a video on both of these topics, but they're so important that I feel like they bear repeating. Um, and I wanted to talk about this because I think it's something that really bothers everybody a lot. It's like, it's one of the things that, if not the sole thing, it's one of the main causes of anxiety in life, which is um, that you're running out of time for something or that, uh, you know, there's this limited opportunity for something that is coming and will never come again. Um, <clears throat> this is a complete illusion. Um, any opportunity you miss, you can create again. Um, but that's really not what I wanted to say. Um, and in another video, I was talking about how um, when you begin to sort of completely buy into your control over your reality what starts to happen is that you realize how much you are impacting everything that's happening in your life and that you can control a lot of it and what's come out of that for me is um, a more like a increasing level of awareness in moments that would normally have caused me anxiety and I'm still missing a bunch of them and <laughs> eventually I have to like get to the point where I'm feeling anxious and then sort of want a solution to it and then go oh yeah uh, I forgot that I'm supposed to be sort of influencing all of this I've I lost touch with the fact that I'm in control of all of this and then it's like instant relief but um Basically what that has done is it, it keeps me almost always in the present moment. I'm, if I'm thinking about the future now, I'm creating the future exactly how I want it. I never, if I can help it, like I catch myself just automatically doing this sometimes, but I never allow myself to have a fantasy essentially about a bad thing happening. If I realize I'm doing that, I stop and I intentionally think about the thing the way that it is going to happen, the way that I'm going to make it happen. And so what this does for me is I'm pretty much always here. I'm pretty much always, I'm either in my imagination thinking about the future the way I want it to be with a sense of intention, or I'm simply in the present moment, like doing whatever I'm doing right now. There's no more worry about the future. It's anything I'm thinking about about the future is pleasurable now because I know that I can make the future however I want it to be. And I have evidence all around me because I'm living, you know, my shadow world is a pretty fucking awesome world. Like all the stuff that I've done in the past in this same way, um, you know, in, in areas where I didn't have any major mental blocks, um, those have come to pass, come to pass and have created my current reality. So there's a lot to enjoy here. So basically due to this mental shift into empowerment and understanding the level to which I create everything, has brought me to the present moment. And so what I wanted to say about the present moment um, is that it's a strange combination of infinity and like it both feels like it lasts forever and it goes by super slowly, which is amazing. You know, when when you do something you love doing and the time flies by, you look up and like six hours have gone by. Um, it's that sensation, but with time passing really slowly. And there's something about being in that state that is super creative. Um, and, and there's a realization that time is an illusion and Things change so quickly from this place. I have relationships that have changed so much that I can't believe it um, in such a short period of time. Um, 
And if you look at my life, my with you know with creating wealth, that happened more slowly. Um, but if you look at point A to point B, um, that it happened really, really quickly. It felt like it took a long time, in a good way. Um, like I was able to fo be fully present for most of it. But if you look at like the time frame it took for me to get from zero to where I am now, which is significantly above zero, um, it it was a very short period of time. So there's this interesting thing that happens when you're able to let go of that um, idea that you're bound by outside forces. That's the key thing. The time limit comes from thinking that there's something outside of you that can decide whether or not you're gonna get the thing you want. Um, and once you let that go, the time limit floats away. And then you start noticing how much of an illusion time is. And you start living in the present where amazing things are just coming to you all the time and there's so much joy and happiness that you probably aren't experiencing already. It's just, it's fucking awesome. And I just wanted to post another You're Not Running Out of Time video because this is one of those ones that I think a lot of people have to hear over and over and over and over again. Um, and then certain pieces of it click into place, other pieces click into place. You have some of your own experiences if you're really dedicated to this. And finally, you just get it. That's what happened to me. So I wanted to put this up. Uh, I hope you have a great day. Um, and I hope that this helped somebody's day get a little bit better. It's 8.18. I didn't run into any creepy old men at the gym, so I'm happy.